Hi, I'm CS Jets and anyone else that may be listening. It's still October 2nd, and as I promised, I wanted to bring you some facts about Chinese pirates. Um, I realize that the lighting isn't great and Miss Corey doesn't look very healthy, but I'm here and I'm okay, and my voice does sound raspy, so I still have some breathing problems, but I am okay, and I just wanted to bring you some more pirate facts, and then at some point, I will move on. But I found it interesting because my first perusal of pirate books, I only really read about buccaneers and the first pirates who were Vikings coming from the north. Um, the pirates tended to be British or French or Danish or Swedish, even Irish. Um, but um, they also were serving and not serving, but they were conducting their piracy in the Caribbean, which were warmer waters. So on my second go around in this book called Pirates and Smugglers, which I will display once I'm done with this video, um, I found really interesting facts about Chinese pirates. Now I know I'm gonna look down, but I'm just gonna read to you a few facts. So sorry that I'm looking down, but I just wanna let you know that that's what I'm doing. I'm reading from the book. So Chinese pirate fleets. They ran for 200 years between the 1600s and 1800s. Um, China's coastline was huge. They use the word vast in here. Vast is another word for huge, large amount of ocean and land. Um, unlike the pirates in the Caribbean, they the pirates in the Caribbean were often uh, broken up into very small bands of pirates. Uh, they were not organized. You had no idea who was really fighting with who. It was chaotic. The Chinese, on the other hand, they were super, super organized. Um, and because of their organization, they actually got to run their piracy, not just by ship by ship or group by group, but almost as little empires because they were so organized about it. Um, so, so the Chinese worked in huge, well-organized fleets. Fleets is another word for a group of ships. They used violent threats to blackmail money from coastal settlements and merchant ships, which pretty much the Caribbean pirates did it too. They just weren't doing it as like an empire doing it. They were just way more unorganized. Um, piracy in China was also a family business. So most pirate captains sailed with their wives and family on board. Pirate leaders employed family members in their business, and it was common for a relative to inherit the pirate ship after the pirate died, which pirates in the Caribbean, um, that was not the case at all. It's pretty much someone died, you took it. There was no family really involved. Um, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about what they called their boats. They called their boats junk. Yeah, like the word J-U-N-K. They called their boats junk. The junk boats were basic boats with three masts. A lot of the masts were made out of um, canvas and bamboo. A lot of these boats also were taken from other people and then refashioned to make them fit for the Chinese uh, fleet. Um, so from the 1600s all the way till 1849, Chinese pirates reigned. They were like I said, little mini emperors, pretty much. Um, so the final showdown, it says in this book, the final showdown between the Royal British Navy and the Chinese um, piracy force, they fought an epic battle. Um, they lost, the Chinese lost, because the British had developed and invented steam run um, engines and ships. So while the Chinese were still basing theirs off wind and sails and sometimes even people that were rowing, the British Navy had developed these ships that ran off really hot water. So the British were able to beat them because their ships were more superior. Um, they trapped the pirate fleet and then bombarded, bombarded it and destroyed it. Um, it was the end pretty much though with the creation of steam engines, it was the end of piracy, pretty much. Piracy ended in that format. 
with the Caribbean in the Caribbean and also in China. I just found it very interesting that when we learn about pirates and we see movies about pirates, we don't hear about pirates from other areas of the world. We really hear it in pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean, depending on how you say it. We don't really hear a lot about uh, pirates either in China or Africa. We just really hear about the Caribbean pirates. So it was interesting for me to read about these Chinese pirates. Um, I will try to get back on track with Dr. Doolittle. And like I said, Miss Smith may be coming out with a new uh, secret garden page. If you've been watching it, watching these videos, we're really appreciative. We've gotten over a hundred. So now we have a very tiny URL, which I will be posting soon. Um, it also should be easier to find us if you put us in the YouTube searches, MCES, which is CAPS, space, school, space, house. We should be a lot easier to find. Um, have a good night, Jets. Hopefully I'll see you sooner and it won't take me two and a half more months to post a video. Good night.